frequently asked how far you can run the network on a Megapoints controller, so I thought rather than talk about it, let's find out together. What I'm going to do for this test is I'm going to use two of the demo boards and I've linked one as a master to slave the other. So when I operate the switches, you can see instantly the second board responds, even to the memories. To do the test, I've purchased a 100 meter drum of alarm cable. It's four core from eBay. And what I'm going to do is run this down the garden, connect it, and then when the signal doesn't work, we'll keep halving the cable till we can measure exactly how far down this cable the signal travels. So, let's unwrap. I've already put ends on it so that it will plug into a board. This is the bit you don't see. As it's a perfect British summer, you can see I'm well dressed for it. So if I'm quick, we won't get too wet. So here's a cable. What I'll do, I'll loosely tie it to the table. And then we'll unravel it. Back in a minute. So that's what a hundred meters looks like. So what we'll do. I'll take this and connect it to this cable. And I'll take the other end. And here, let's undo this. Here's the other end with the connector. Oh, it was. Hello. And we'll connect that. Ah, need an adapter. Put it into this. So we've got female at both ends. So we have one end here, one end here. So and I've got the pliers ready to start cutting. Oh. 100 meters of cable, no delay, perfect control. I hope you can see all 12 servos moving there, let's move them individually. Mm. Okay, the answer to the first question is at least 100 meters. Let's make things harder. Let's let's turn this into a semaphore program. Mode, leave low and high as it is. So it's pretty obvious that there's no latency or lag there. It's responding immediately. I've got a 150 meter reel of four core flat telephone wire. Cost me 16 pounds on eBay, I think. So let's disconnect this, disconnect this. About now I'm wondering whether it was a good idea to go around the table leg. So, let's cut this out. Again, I've already put 
servo plugs on it. So I'm thinking, do I go from the inside out? Why not? So if I take this, loop it round. go and do a little walk with this. So hopefully it's going to go at least half as much again. So 150 meters of flat telephone wire. The flat cable is the better because it has a lower capacitance. So if you're running layouts under 100 feet or so, it's probably not gonna matter that much, but as you go beyond that, you may want to consider a lower capacitance cable. Right, the last bit's the hardest. has a female connector. Let's get them the right way round. Okay, 150 meters. Let's see what happens. I don't see any latency. Try some memory buttons. Memory one, memory two, memory three. All off, all on. Now I've seen it said on the internet um, that the network that we use with Mega Points controllers isn't suitable for anything over a few centimeters, maybe a couple of meters. But I've got 150 meters there. So far, so good. Um, let's try something else. I'm going to bring in a third board and I'm going to join both cables together. So let's put this guy here, this guy in the middle, and this is a, um, a test board that I use for testing all the products, so it's got extra cables. just reset it, prepare it. So it's now a slate. I can leave it this way and you can see the servos. So we want the end of the 100 meter cable. Which will connect to this board. the other end of it. Through a little changer so we go from male to female and the board in the middle I'll daisy chain to this because all of the mega points controllers they have an in and an out on the network. So plugging something in is as easy as plugging something in. Okay. Oh wow, um, I don't know if you can see this. Okay, um, that's 250 meters. 840 feet of cable there. Um, I've got this guy in the middle issuing instructions. 
and if you can see all the servos are responding. So the way I've got the cable wired, I've got the 150 meter cable from this board going round and into one side of this and then out I've got a 100 meter cable, that's the white, going down and up and into this. And as you can see, it's working fine. Okay, so what we have now is the 100 meter black cable going all the way down the garden and back connecting to this board. And then on the other network socket, we've got the 100 meter cable going all the way down and back connecting to this board. So we have 250 meters of cable. I'll issue commands here. You'll see a response here. So um, I can't tell you the maximum length. I can tell you it works over 250 meters here, uh, which is 840 feet. Um, I hope that answers any of the questions on cable length you have. So the only thing remaining now is to ask if anyone can uh, send me a, uh, a cable reel uh, rather quickly. I think I'm gonna be here for a while. Uh, cue Benny Hill music. Now on this test I've used a single 4.7k pull-up resistor on one megapoints controller board only. You get two supplied with each multi-panel and their value of 10k each. This was a 4.7k and I fully expected to have to add resistors to get the signal to go further but as you can see it wasn't necessary there. Thanks for watching.